Engineer Geek here today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to wire up an HC-SR04 ultrasonic sound sensor to an LCD. This project is great for beginners as it pays the foundation towards other projects like a self-avoidance robot. One of the parts that you're going to need for this project is an LCD screen. Uh, I highly recommend getting an I2C LCD screen, which I talked about in a previous video. The next part that you're going to need is a form of ultrasonic sound sensor. So in this case, I'm using the HCSR04. As you can see from the pins, uh, you've got VCC, Trig, Echo and Ground. So VCC is obviously your 5 volt supply voltage and your ground is your ground. The trigger pin and Echo can be connected to any digital pin on the Arduino. Uh, the HC SR04 is a really cheap part, you can find them really easy on Amazon. Uh, I'll leave links in the description. Of course, as mentioned in my other video, uh, you will always need yourself an Arduino, an Arduino clone, or, uh, you'll need breadboard, some basic jumper wires, and of course a laptop or a computer to run the code. I'll quickly go over how the ultrasonic sound sensor works. So what it does is it sends out a sound wave at uh, 343 meters per second, which is the speed of sound in dry air. This sound wave hits an object. The sensor then waits for the sound wave to come back. This time in between sending out the first sound wave and receiving it gives us our time function. However, as it goes one way and then back the other, we have to average it, so we divide it by two. So to calculate our distance, we use our speed, which is the 343 meters per second. We use our time, which is the time it takes to get there and back, but we have to divide it by two. You can manually enter this type of calculation in the code. However, if you use libraries, which you'll see later on in the video, uh, it saves this step and it does it for you. Thankfully, the wiring for this project is really simple. Uh, so as mentioned in my other video with the LCD, uh, if you have the I2C add-on and you flip it over, uh, you will see that there's ground, VCC, uh, data and clock. So quite simple, you put the VCC and the ground into the breadboard, positive and negative rail, and you put the data and the clock into either the data and the clock pin in your Arduino or analog A5 and A4 where A5 is the clock and A4 is the data. The next part that we have to wire up is our ultrasonic sound sensor. So as you can see, we've got our voltage going from our voltage pin to our voltage grill. We've got our ground going from our ground pin to our ground rail. And with our code, we've got our trig pin it can go to any digital pin. We've got going to pin nine and then our echo pin, which we've got going to pin 10. The only way is that come from the Arduino uh, the voltage going to our voltage rail and our ground going to our ground rail. The code side of the project is quite simple. Uh, so at the top of the code, we first include our library, which is Liquid Crystal I2C. Uh, I'll leave a link for this library. In this line here, we're, uh, we're setting the address of our Liquid Crystal using our library. So LCD 0 times 27, so the hexadecimal value. Uh, 16 2 because it's a 16 by 2 LCD. These two int values are for our trig and echo pins, so it's just attaching them to what pin they are on the Arduino. Uh, we then have our void setup. So in our void setup, we only have LCD begin, uh, so we, that basically just initializes the LCD. At the top of our void loop here, we create a variable for the duration of the pin. So that's there in that long duration inches centimeter. This section of our loop function is basically just the ultrasonic sensor. As you can see, we first write it low for 2 microseconds. We then put it high for 10 microseconds. And turn it back to low. For this section of the code, this is where we start doing our if statements. So what we've said is uh, here, we've created a variable for centimeters. So we've said if that variable centimeters is greater than 400, uh, clear the LCD, set the, set the cursor to 0, 0, and print nothing detected because this 400 value is above the sensor's range. The sensor can go up to 4 meters. For the opposite of that, we have our else function, so when centimeters is the opposite to that. So when that happens, we LCD clear again, clear the LCD, set the cursor to 0, 0, print object detected, set the cursor to 0, 1, so drop it down a row, print our centimeter variable, 
and print centimeter away. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully you've learned a little something from this video. If you have any projects that you want me to work on in the future, please let me know in the comment section below.